What's going on folks, your boy Jay is here and today, if you can't tell, we're talking about Assassin's Creed again. I, I understand that there's been a quite a bit, a train of, of Assassin's Creed, but don't worry, I got some more stuff coming for you guys later. Uh, I'm gonna try and work out some extra stuff for you guys, but this is kind of what I'm focusing on right now. Why does my mouth suddenly... Anyway, so today we're gonna be going over uh, the post-launch and season pass details and things like that that have come out uh, about regarding Assassin's Creed Origins. Now, I know I'm a little late on this. I didn't do a video all last week on it. I was planning to, but I had some stuff going on. So I just wanted to play a little catch up and then maybe jump ahead and talk about a little bit of stuff. So we're going to watch this and then we're going to we're, we're just going to discuss it a little bit. Why not? Why not? Oh, oh. Hold up, wait a minute. Post-launch and season pass trailer. As we approach the launch of Assassin's Creed Origins, What's up, Ash? it is my absolute pleasure to be announcing some new exciting content for our players. First, we're gonna start with the awesome content for our season pass owners, and then we're gonna take a look at the free content that is available for all Assassin's Creed Origins players. Mm. Okay, so there's free I stuff. I am thrilled to share with you the details of the Curse of the Pharaohs DLC. What? This expansion follows Bayek's journey where he investigates a mystery that turns into a living nightmare. We wanted to delve deeper into the fancy of the Egyptian mythology with this DLC. As players battle oh. with beasts, dead pharaohs, and discover a large new open world region, all while Bayek's world is turned upside down. That's a little, that's kind of cool. The expansion is the Hidden Ones DLC. Years after the events of the origin story, Bayek will travel to the Sinai Peninsula, where he will be involved in a clash between rebel factions and an occupying Roman force. Oh. In this new region, oh. we see Bayek's role expand and the next step in the Brotherhood story. Season pass owners will have access to the Roman Centurion and the Horus Pax. Both packs unlock new outfits, new mounts, and special unique weapons. You get a camel? In addition to the season pass content, I'm excited to be announcing all new content that will be available to all our players released after the launch of the game. We want really? to constantly be surprising our players with this amazing new content. What you got? What you got? Every Assassin's Creed Origins player the will have the, the opportunity gods. to participate in an epic challenge called the Trial of the Gods. A glitch oh. in the Animus allows players to fight against these massive Egyptian gods. These are epic battles challenging players' progression and combat skills. Whoa. The Nomad's Bazaar. Reda, a traveler of lands, will ask you daily to explore the land and solve its problems to earn a mystery daily? reward. Daily? So oh. take your chance every day. Egypt is so beautiful, we had to include a photo mode. Oh, These Instagram. These pictures are automatically <laughs> shared with community and directly visible on the world map. Oh, that's there cool. There is much more content still to come, including horde mode in the Gladiator Arena and the Discovery Tour. Again, all oh, they already put out a video on that. All our players. I am really thrilled that we're about to launch Assassin's Creed Origins, and I'm really excited that we are offering all this extra content that will be made available post-launch. I sincerely hope that you will love this game as much as we do. There is a lot more to say and a lot more to come, so stay tuned. Assassin's Creed Origins. Oh man, Origins. see, when you say a lot, what you mean by a lot, Ash? What you mean by a lot? Okay, so let's let's go ahead and dive in. The first thing we're gonna look at is timeline here. So excited that we are they revealed the timeline. The Centurion, the Roman Centurion pack is the first thing that's launch. gonna come out. It's gonna come out in November, uh, which is one month after the game launches. It comes out next week, next Friday. Yep. Uh, so October, then into November. Then going into December, the horse pack comes out. And then there's also the um, photo mode, Nomads Bazaar. And then in between December and January, you get Trial of the Gods. That's in that that's looking pretty dope. I think I'm gonna get the season pass because let's see, you get the, the costume packs first, obviously. That would make sense. Um, so maybe they're only doing two DLC packs? That's interesting. I wonder I wonder why they only went with two DLC packs. Maybe there's like a second season pass or something. A season pass two. Like a season two pass. There we go. And it goes from 
April, May, and then June into the summer, that would be really cool. I would like to see two more, two or three more packs come out and some more free DLC. That would be, that would be really cool. But this, I'd have to say the, the most interesting thing here is probably the curse of the pharaohs this curse this just pharaohs, seems DLC. really dope this i would love to see like journey what this is really about because if this has like zombies and, and pharaohs and all this other stuff dude the this is cool because he already showed let me see DLC. the scorpion anubis this looks kind of cool i'm excited i'm excited to see more about this hold on let me see if they have anything in the description uh no they don't no, <laughs> this is it see this is why this is why i'm a little i'm a little bothered there should be more information here but there's not and that's that's a little troubling but i mean uh, all in all in it looks time. it looks really dope i would have liked to see a little bit more stuff but it's good to see that they're that they're gonna have some free stuff so I wonder, I really hope that Ash knows that the rest of the Assassin's Creed, I, I, maybe he does know this, maybe he doesn't, but the rest of the Assassin's Creed franchise kind of lies on him and his team's shoulders. Like, a Assassin's Creed will change forever after this game. If this game comes out and it's dope, people will, they won't mind another Assassin's Creed. Obviously, this game's not gonna sell as well as a traditional Assassin's Creed before Unity. Actually, before Black Flag, really. But we're not really gonna see huge numbers. I I, I think it'll be the Watch Dogs 2 effect, where the game will be great. It'll be fun, it'll be amazing, it'll be great to play, like, like you enjoy it, it's really like fun. But nobody buys it until like two, three months after the game comes out and people are just like, oh man, this game is amazing. I feel like this game is gonna have that same effect to where it won't even matter if the game is good or not because people will, obviously day one, you have your regular amount of haters and stuff like this. Maybe I'll do a whole separate video on this just, just so that way I can explain it a, li a little bit better. But obviously, you know, the, sh the short explanation is you're gonna have people on day one say, yeah, this game is trash, this game is ass, don't buy this, blah, 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 blah. But then you'll have the people that actually take the time to play more than two hours of it and they actually enjoy the game. I think those people will be pleasantly surprised. I know I definitely will because after playing Unity and playing Syndicate and it's like comparing those two games back and forth and then he's responsible for black flag him and his team are responsible for black flag which i feel is the funnest assassin's creed game it's like that's gonna be a very interesting change of pace and i really 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 want to see this game thrive but i also don't want to see it see so much success that it kind of spirals out of control and it's like we're on the yearly assassin's creed again i think the the cycle in which they do things now should be fine i think there should be the game comes out take a year break another game comes out you know but in that break year they should have like splinter cell maybe some rayman maybe like something else come out you know like there needs to be gaps i mean ubisoft as a whole as a studio has plenty of other games that they could focus on i mean there's for honor which came out and it was kind of lackluster i mean there's still a very small niche community of people that play that game then there's ghost recon and from the people that were were disappointed or weren't disappointed they're playing that game um that game's kind of hard for me to like get into because it's not the same ghost recon that i've played before so it's like i'm not into it then there's uh rainbow six siege and then of course all of these are different teams so there's multiple teams working on multiple things throughout the year so i would definitely like to see a a new open world rpg project kind of fill in that space that assassin's creed would take up with a yearly release but not actually do it with a yearly release if that makes any sense so like i think watchdogs assassin's creed and then something else something else assassin's creed maybe a watchdogs 3 i don't know i, I if there was a watchdogs 3 i would want it to continue off of watchdogs 2 because that i just love that cast of characters those were just amazing but without diving into into that portion of it uh but the game looks great. I just don't want it to get super pig-headed and arrogant in its ways of like, you know, this is the way that we have this game established and this is how we should do things. I mean, 
I, I, that might just be the way that I feel about it, but I want to know what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know. Do you, are you guys like, do you think Assassin's Creed Origins is going to be just like nothing but hype? I know there's a large, large, large amount of people that just believe like, oh yeah, it's just another Ubisoft game. It's just another Assassin's Creed game. Let me know what you guys think. I, I'm interested to know down in the comments section. Let's have a conversation. Anyway, make sure to give today's video a like if you enjoyed, if you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel and you enjoyed this type of video. And I have plenty of other ones that you can do. And if you're going to hit that subscribe button, you might as well turn on the notifications for every time that I live stream you know upload you know post something on a channel that you might want to see you know yeah uh, you boy is looking out for you so anyway this has been your boy just Jay Sama I will catch you guys next time make sure to keep it canon <laughs>